YouTube. Or good evening, I should say. Just um, just stayed behind after work to do some tidying up, so I thought I would um, take the chance to do a to do a video. Um, I actually uh, have another one to upload. I did one yesterday. You may remember. I think it was yesterday on the Griffin Survivor case. Um, and of course, didn't mention anything about the the iPhone, the new iPhone. So I, I did a little follow up video last night about the phone and a few further thoughts on the case. Um, so I'll hopefully upload that. Tried to upload it last night, failed. Uh, it wouldn't upload. So technology again, um, letting me down or maybe me not doing it right, which <laughs> probably a combination of the two things. Um, just this is a very quick, I just like to sort of keep you abreast of what we do here in the shop. So just the odd time, just go around, pan around a few things. Um, we're gonna take a look here at some soft shells, not in any detail. Um, obviously a big part of what we sell, soft shells now have become the new fleece. They've really not quite taken over from fleece, but you know, as a product they are um, just a little bit more versatile in fleece, they're much more protective, they offer a lot more weather protection, they offer more breathability, they offer much more variety in terms of what you can get in them. Um, you know, they, they are just altogether a much more um, popular uh, product these days than fleece. Now fleece is still around of course, you know, um, some people just, you know, just like fleece and it's as simple as that but soft shells are now a huge part of the market and you know the, the, the actually the, the sort of line between soft shells and hard shells now is starting to get a little bit blurred in places but anyway um the one for instance we're looking at here this is the jack wolf skin chili pass um soft shell uh with a distinctive yellow um trim um Wolf's Polo, etc. The this style is from their Alpinism range, which is their more technical range, aimed at the really serious outdoor enthusiast. Um, basically, the the key things about this it's, it it features their Stormlock um, technology. Uh, the the actual the soft shell itself is. The fabric is completely windproof, uh, but also it's got the high proof, well they call it both a coating and a membrane, funny enough, in, in the, on the ticketing, which is interesting, I'm not, I'll have to look into that a little bit further, but whatever, uh, basically it makes the fabric of the soft shell totally waterproof. Um, now if you, know, if you stand out for long enough in the rain, in heavy rain then eventually you know the moisture will get in through the seams of the jacket so the jacket itself can't be described as waterproof but it is virtually so um, due to this uh, waterproof stormlock high proof membrane stroke um, coating <laughs> uh, anyway it's a really really nice jacket this lovely soft shell um, which uh, hopefully will I'll go down a storm, no pun intended. Um, this is the familiar sight to many of you who are more full on outdoor users. Uh, the Montaigne Sabretooth um, soft shell with the uh, power shield. Uh, as you can see there, from Polar Tech. Uh, this jacket really, maybe we'll do a review of this or an overview of it at some point on its own. It is just one of the classic mountain soft shells. Uh, sold one on Saturday to a guy and you know, um, he'd had one before and you know, he just bought it again. Just, you know, doesn't really, it sells itself to be honest. It is just a fantastic piece of kit. It's gotta be one of the best and toughest um, soft shells out there for, you know, extreme, extreme use. So a uh, really great style um, from Montaigne. The North Face, of course, this is the uh, the Apex Bionic. It's still the biggest selling soft shell. It's been around for years. Um, it's really kind of their bread and butter. It's really solid, really thick. Again, it uses climate block. Um, 
technology so it is wood proof uh, highly water resistant water just rolls off it it's it's really a style that we sell a lot uh to people for sort of semi casual outdoor wear you know it's, it's great for standing around watching rugby on a really chilly day really windy day that kind of thing um it'll turn a bit of a shower you know it is a technical soft shell but uh it's probably of all of them it's probably the one we sell mostly for full-on casual use okay uh it almost takes the place of a jacket because it, it really is quite substantial uh this is the st elias um soft shell from north face again a bit finer a little bit softer uh again just uh just a really 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 nice garment um and would work quite well as a mid layer as well that one but there you go uh that's some of them moving over here just to have a quick look we have some rab gear again rab one of the really outstanding brands uh of the last few years just goes from strength to strength uh this is the vaporized jacket in vivid blue so named for obvious reasons beautifully light but really warm um pertex jacket uh stroke soft shell it's uh great style uh this well this isn't a soft shell this is the zenon pull on actually it's an insulated style with uh, as you see prima lock really really light light as a feather actually but very warm oh and you know Can survive a fall to the floor. <laughs> uh, this is again the Rob. Oh, I've forgotten the name of this one. Uh, it is, yes, the Vaporized Guide jacket with a nice sort of distinctive fleece trim on it there. Um, brilliant, brilliant style with the fold away hood. Slightly heavier. Um, again, highly water resistant. The Scimitar, the Rob Scimitar with the sort of peaked mountain type hood that is a fantastic jacket on get a nice a nice midweight technical soft shell really good for active use great climate control you know really breathable um so deals with deals with your sweat uh, and keeps you warm as well but isn't too bulky um here we have we're back to insulation again well this is of course the montan ice guide uh, classic mountain extreme mountain jacket uh, beautiful oh, beautiful jacket full of female loft uh, outer is pertex Mogulite, I think if I'm not mistaken maybe I am mistaken maybe the first time uh, no it is pertex micro light and that lovely distinctive yellow uh, lining um, brilliant brilliant jacket for really really uh out there uh, people you know want to push it a little bit more to the limit as we say um or as someone i'm sure has said this is a new jacket from rob this season uh it's the uh, i can't remember all the names just off the top of my head this is the plasma hoodie okay again a pertex pertex Hooded style, really light, really soft, and really warm. Um, so there you go, that's probably enough for now. That is the one I mentioned. I highlighted a few weeks ago the Jack Wolf Skin Frozen Peak, which is a really thick, virtually waterproof. Again, it's that um, high proof uh, shell fabric, soft shell fabric. Uh, it, it's just a brilliant, brilliant garment. Really, really substantial from Jack Wolf's skin and really really smart as well as it happens some fleeces there Jack Wolf skin North Face burgers etc um, there you go and then we're into our our waterproof mainly three-in-one style jackets but we won't we won't dwell on those now just thought I'd um just highlight those few styles for you let you kind of see a little bit of what we do um you want to know anything more about anything there prices anything like that please feel free to ask pm me whatever 
you want. You know, we're on Facebook, um, Grace Outdoor and Lifestyle. Uh, you also, well, I'm on Twitter, at Grace Outdoors. Um, you know, so yeah, we're all over the place. And uh, thanks, thanks for watching this. I hope it was of some interest to some of you at least. Thanks again to anyone who's been commenting recently. If I haven't commented back, I apologize. Um, thanks for your comments. Thanks for your attention. Uh, thanks for all your kindness and support on here. Um, I think that's me. I better go and get, get something to eat. I wouldn't want to waste away. All right, folks, uh, please take care and see you, see you again soon.